Hey guys, welcome to my channel, DevonXO here. Today's video is going to be on some of my recent products I have gotten that I really loved and some that just really didn't work out for me. And as I'm sure you've seen in other videos like these ones, just a disclaimer that these products are not bad products, um, they just didn't work for me personally. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel below. First, I am going to jump in with some skincare. Today I'll be talking about this Glam Glow Super Mud Clarifying Mask. This is the biggest size. Um, it is 1.7 ounces. This size retails for $69. Um, I ordered it from the Glam Glow site. Um, it is made in Hollywood, California. It is a really awesome product. It is a high price point, but you know, if it works, it works. There are so many products that claim to clarify the skin immediately, and that just seems like a really rash statement. Um, this, I truly believe that it does. If I have a breakout come up overnight and I use this product, I mean, it immediately goes down. The swelling goes down. It just, it's so awesome. It has really helped my skin a lot. It has dried my skin out a little bit. Um, so I've been trying to moisturize a little bit more. This MAC times 9, it is a newer one from MAC. It is the Solar Glow times 9. These retail for $32, which I think is sweet because their single shadows are, you know, $16.50 to $20, like for the Dazzle shadows and, and Extreme Dimension shadows. Um, but this is just a gorgeous palette. And it also is really great for deeper skin tones because the white shadow in this is actually a dazzle shadow um these three right here are dazzle shadows and the neutrals are deeper so it these two are shimmer this is also a shimmer so this is a really good palette also for deep skin tones and these are so much more pigmented than the old times nine palettes like i can't even tell you the difference like is just remarkable because i have the dusky rose times nine um, and this is so much different. Also, the Red Hot Times 9 and the Semi Sweet Times 9, so much more pigmented than the old Times 9 palettes. They really stepped it up with these ones. Like, this Dazzle Shadow is just so sparkly, and these are so pretty. Like, oh, look at that mauve goodness and here's one of the shimmery ones just so pretty um i love this i think the possibilities are so endless everything yes so give these a go you won't be disappointed or at least i personally don't think you will be they do work best when your eyeballs are primed with a paint pot because i live for the paint pot on to the next one. Um, I'm gonna go into another MAC product. I actually have two more MAC products that came out recently. Um, these are the MAC Chromographic Pencils. I'm sure that these have come out before, but these ones came out with the Work It Out line and I just love these. Like, they're so pigmented. You can use them for a bazillion things. You can draw on your face. You can do your eyebrows. You can do your waterline. You can do your lips. Like, freckles. Like, I have used this to do pink freckles. And it is... They're so pigmented. They're so pretty. These ones were my favorite ones that came out. I just wanted to touch on those really quickly. I do believe that these probably are not available anymore unless they're on the website um but i believe they were 16.50 and they're so worth it all right so another mac product that came out recently that i was really excited about was a re-release but i just love the packaging like let me just say that i wish that all of the mac lipsticks were packaged like this because if they were it would be so easy to find my lipstick like just throwing that out there if i could just put them in like this and just i'd be like oh there's velvet teddy i can see the top of the packaging and then i know that that is that lipstick 
when I have to go into my MAC bullets to find a lipstick, I gotta pick up each one and like read the bottom to try to find the lipstick. So this one, I can just go right into the lipstick section of my vanity and bam, Velvet Teddy. There it is. I have it on. It is the regular formula for Velvet Teddy, but I just think that this is the greatest packaging. The inside has it too. It's so pretty. Why don't they just package all of their lipsticks like this? <laughs> Did I just say that like two times? Okay. So, now that we know how much I love this packaging, on to next. This product is actually a drugstore product. And I actually tried this. I got this for the drugstore tutorial that I did. And I didn't use it because I ended up doing a red lip. But this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner. I was literally angry when I tried it, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little frustrated because I was like, you know, I have all these $20 lip pencils and some of them, like, they get weird. Like, you put it on and the tip comes off and then it's like all dry and flaky and it's like, I can't even describe the way that it, it comes off, but it's annoying. And you're like, man, I'm paying $20 for a freaking pencil for my lips and I'm not gonna use this one all the time. Like, whatever, whatever. I tried it, I swatched it off my hand and I was like, no freaking way. This lip pencil is ridiculous. Like, can you see that? And it's even in this nice component. You know, I'm paying $20 for a pencil, a sharpened pencil from MAC, well, $16.50 usually. And uh, this is in a twist top component and it doesn't break. It doesn't break right off. It's amazing. The pigment is clearly amazing and it wears all day. I don't have a problem with it coming right off. I just love it. I think it's amazing and I'm gonna go get all the colors and you probably should too. Last but not least, my favorite product that I just cannot live without. I'm using it every day. I'm probably gonna hit pan on one of these in too soon of time is this Cheek Parade palette from Benefit Cosmetics is a limited edition palette that came out for summertime. It just recently came out. It is a little pricey. It is a little pricey. Just throw that out there. But not really. Um, it's fifty-six dollars. Uh, but in case you didn't know, Benefit's bronzers and blushes are a little pricey. They're like thirty bucks um, for the single one. And that's a little pricey, but they're so nice. This is what it looks like when you open it up. It has a nice big mirror that has my fingerprints all over it. And these are just gorgeous. Like, it does have a little brush that comes right here, but girlfriend vibe, we know I'm not gonna use that. Um, so here's Hula Light, Hula, Dandelion, Rockator. Oh wait, this is Rockator, and this is California. So this is like a matte mauve color, a light bronzer, which I love freaking love hula light when i hit pan on this girl buy i'm going to buy a single one this is the hula bronzer california rockador uh this one is like a pinky with a gold undertone this is like a shiny mauve color this one's like a matte uh super pretty and then this and this these are really, I don't really have any clean skin. I know, you can kind of see that. Okay, so these are fantastic. They also smell so good. I don't know if it's, they all smell good. They're all perfumed or something. These smell like really clean and these smell like kind of florally. And when I put the Hula Light on, I can smell it while I'm doing my makeup. And I'll be doing it with this and the Sweet Peach palette and everything just smells so good and I just feel so serene because I'm like, oh, my makeup smells so good and not chemically. So I freaking love this palette. It was so worth it. I use it every day. There's a dent happening in this, but that's okay, girlfriend. That means she works. So check this out. Limited time. Get it while you can. Now for some oh no's. I'm gonna touch on these real quickly. This guy, ridiculous. I got this from ColourPop. These retail for five bucks or six bucks. Everyone talks about them. People love them, people don't love them, but I hate this lipstick. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my God, like it's so pigmented. Like look how pretty. 
it's a gorgeous color like let's be real this color is prim but this is the streakiest lipstick of my life like this is what I did hours after I put it on it was everywhere all over my face like I don't even know I have lipstick in places I don't even know how it got there and I don't even know if I ate I think I was just drinking like coffee or something like ridiculous I had it all over my face it got off on everything you know and I just I don't like that I have satin lipsticks that don't do that I have glosses that don't even do that I just I don't understand so I didn't like it because it wouldn't stop getting on everything <laughs> next I have the MAC next to nothing face color um I can't thought this is not supposed to be full coverage um and that's fine that's I knew that when I bought it that's not why I bought it but it was supposed to kind of give you this nice glow and kind of make your skin look like it had a filter on it was the purpose and they have this huge great campaign and the powder is actually really nice I did try that when it came out um, but I just don't think it does what it's supposed to do. I feel like it doesn't, not for me. I mean, maybe if you have totally perfect, normal skin. People with oily skin were complaining that, um, it was, it was making their skin extra oily. So if you have oily skin, definitely don't use it. If you have normal to dry skin and your skin is perfect, I mean, no breakouts, like, then it will probably work for you. Yes, I mean, it just doesn't really do anything. I have mixed it in with my foundation, like another foundation, and it was kind of nice. It gave it a less matte and more dewy look. And I have used it and then put Studio Fix Powder on top of it, and it was pretty nice. So you gotta kind of mix it with. It's not a standalone product unless you have totally perfect skin. So there's my thoughts on this. My next oh no is this Star Crush Minerals Glitter Adhesive. Currently, I'm just stuck on the NYX glitter adhesive. It's not my favorite, but it gets the job done. This, look at this. Do you see how watery this is? Like, what even is this? It doesn't dry down. It doesn't get tacky. And I get that it's not going to be like extra clumpy, whatever. But it doesn't really just, it doesn't do anything. Like, look, bam, just ran everywhere. Like, so it gets on my eyeshadow, breaks up the eyeshadow, breaks up your primer. It just doesn't work for me. If you have some other special way that you know how to use this product, you can let me know. But it does not work for me. My last, oh no, whoops, is this. I think that this is a good idea. Everyone loves charcoal peel off, but I feel like um, charcoal masks have been so diluted because people are so obsessed with them and they just think like charcoal it's magical it doesn't matter what it is it's gonna do whatever that's not really the case so it has a really cool like spatula thing the product comes out of here and then you could just kind of make sure you clean it afterwards if you were to try this product and you can like lock it so it's on or off but I just did not. I used it and used it and used it. And I didn't see anything happen. No product results. I love this brand. The Estee Tomatoes Charcoal Makeup Wipes are the bomb.com, girlfriend. They take off everything. They're awesome. And I love it's a black makeup wipe. Like, how freaking sweet. Um, so... Yeah, I just did not love this product. I just felt like it didn't do anything. It just didn't work for me. And I was kind of disappointed. And it just, when I pulled it off, there was nothing there. And yeah, so. Didn't peel away my impurities. And so, yeah. Well, now that I have dove into a bazillion trillion products, um, I hope you guys have found some insight to this video and hopefully I have either led you to a new product that you might like or saved you some money either way. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me and I will catch you guys on the flip side.